All right, uh, welcome. This is UVN welcome. behind the counter. This is Mike, and I am Peanut, and we'll welcome you to a special. This is a special, special episode. You need to watch this episode, and you need to go do what we're going to tell you to do. Okay, yeah. Like they ever have before. Like some kind of, I don't know, uh, disease special or something. Look, you need to get checked out. Uh, so, no, listen, there are conventions, and we've said this many, many times on the show, and at these conventions, you can, they're family-oriented, family, friends, mm -hmm. uh, your kids, uh, grown-ups, adults, if you love movies, video games, yeah. and especially mm -hmm. comics. Yeah, nerds and unnerds. These are places to go to. Guess yeah. what? In the Ohio area, you know, you're watching this, so obviously, you know, there's a, there's chance, a good that, chance. You know, we have Ohio and here. stuff. And okay. even if you're not in the Ohio area, don't live here, but you got some Ohio family members, there's reasons to come to Ohio, and we're going to tell you why. Um, well, first, there was, and it has already happened, San Diego Comic Con, which is a really, really huge comic convention. It's like the granddaddy of all comic conventions. And, and that is over, and it was an awesome comic convention. But so the beautiful told. and the beautiful thing, know. yeah, yeah, we don't know. <laughs> like we could, we, we've we seen from 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 watching <clears throat> the you know viral videos yeah. and stuff, how awesome it was there. Well, guess what? When that happens and, and that party is over, those same people that were at those conventions, those uh, you know penciling superstars and movie stars and uh, past uh, shows and stuff, they tend to go on a convention tour of mm -hmm. sorts. Guess what? Half of the a group of them people are coming here to Ohio, mm. and that is what we're calling the Mid Ohio Con. You need to go here, and it is on uh, October fourth, fifth, and sixth. Whoa! Wow! Fourth, fifth. All right, I was I was guessy. I knew I was gonna mess with one of them. Fourth and fifth, which is a Saturday, Sunday. Saturday, Sunday. Wow! Saturday, Saturday, Sunday. Sunday. All right. Get those dates. Look, they're on here. Right. Think of it like this. The San Diego Comic Con is like the prom. It's like senior prom. It's got the glitz, the glamour, the fashion, everybody's dressed real nice. And the babes. Right. And the babes. The, uh, the Mid-Ohio Comic Con is more like your post-prom. Still a great party. Everyone's a little bit more casual. You still leave the night thinking you spent way too much money. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, the and the very little to show for. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, it's, it's a great convention. It... Even not not even just speaking as people from Ohio, it, it is a great convention. It's it's something. It's one of the uh, one of America's longest uh, running and most successful uh, comic book pop culture conventions, bringing all fans of all ages uh, to see comic book writers, artists, film and television stars, like we said. And uh, Mid Ohio Con 2008 um, will be at the Greater Columbus Convention Center in Columbus, Ohio. So. Da da da, there's a place, look, if you need pictures and stuff, mm -hmm. the building looks like a freaking cartoon building. Yeah, you, it does. Geez, but, uh, but it's, what was it now, it's 28th year? Yeah, 28, 28 years. years going. So, this shows you, we're telling you this, look, yeah. for 28 years, you know, this has been happening, I mean, it is a success. It is going to be big and even more successful again. Well, let's tell them for some reason why it's going to be so successful this because year. Because of the babes. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, I'll let you go ahead and go ahead. Tell uh, them about it. One of the guest stars uh, that's going to be appearing at the Comic-Con this year are the Convention Vixens, also known as the Con Vixens. Uh, they're a traveling group of very attractive cosplay characters. They're just incredible. Uh, you, they, they hit on the sci-fi, pop culture, video games, comic books, anime, horror, sci-fi... If there's a hot chick out there in pop culture, chances are there's a girl in the uh, the convictions dressed up as her. And they will have some uh, art based on them dressed up as those, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I don't know, witch-like, fantasy-like characters. And the art is based from um, Larry Elmore, and he's known for his work for Dungeons & Dragons, Dragonlance, and his comic ser series uh, Snarf Quest. Okay, but D&D uh, &D people know who this man is, so so he's providing mm -hmm. the artwork for convicts, the convictsons, and um, I'm believing you can purchase them or get them signed and get pictures with them. So you know they're they're going to many conventions. They're uh, I think after Ohio Con they, they got to go to like Atlanta and they have to go to Orlando, Florida and stuff. So look, you know these people are devoted to the fan base and, and traveling, you know, mm -hmm. doing this and stuff. So hey, and um. MySpace them. They have a MySpace a convention vixens. Uh, they're even looking for uh, women to join. Mm -hmm. So go check that out. If you're a MySpace, uh, you know, 
geek and stuff. Yeah, go do that. All right, all right. Um, the one per, one of the people showing up at the con this year that I'm most looking forward to seeing is uh, is Doug Jones. And you may be asking yourself, who is Doug Jones? Why should I care? Doug Jones? Doug Jones is literally the most famous person you don't know that you know. Mm -hmm. um, he's best known right now as the actual actor for Abe Sapien in both the Hellboy 1 and Hellboy 2 movies. Uh, the other thing that he's most... I would say the thing he's probably most known for, mm. that you know that you don't know that you know, if you know... But I know, but you don't know. Is uh, I don't know. We'll have to cut that part out because this is like okay, go go. Uh, he was the Silver Surfer and the uh, Fantastic Four to Rise of the Silver Surfer. Yes, it was Lawrence Fisherman's voice, but that was actually Doug the Jones. It, he was completely CGI. It was a real person underneath the CGI. And hence, uh, going from and people And he's been in twenty five plus other movies where awesome. it's he's a great physical actor. He's going to be there, and uh, oh, I'm going to get his last name wrong. I'm just going to try to say it. Uh, Brian Pulido. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. He's not even going to help me on there. Um, no, he co I do Okay, okay. He co-founded Chaos Comics with artist Stephen Hughes, rest of soul, and Francesca Pulido. Francesca Pulido. Francesca Pulido, his wife. As president of Chaos Comics, uh, Pulido was a leading independent comic publisher in the 90s. He achieved over $30 million in sales. Uh, what he's known for is Lady Death. Yeah. So it, it there should you should and be seeing. Didn't he also do he did Evil Ernie? Ernie. Yeah, I love and, Evil and Ernie. Oh. Right now he's working on uh, with Avatar with the Nightmare on Elm Street comics and other mm -hmm. things. So uh, horror fans and that yeah he's the man to go to. Okay. Yeah, no Happy belated birthday to Joe Cooper. Yesterday was his birthday, but uh, he's a legend. Uh, Dairy artist. Uh, he has sons Adam and Andy Cooper who followed in his footsteps. Uh, Founded the Joe Cooper School of Cartoon and Graphic Arts, school dedicated to aspiring cartoonists, dedicated to become professionals and cartooning comic books in the field of commercial art. Best known for his work as uh, Sergeant Rock and Hawkman, and his sons, Andy Cooper, like I said, have themselves become successful artists. And happy belated birthday. <laughs> All right. And uh, uh, one of the comic book uh, creators that's going to be there, that. too, uh, that I'm most looking forward to is Daryl Banks. He did an awesome, incredible run on the Green Lantern series. Mm. Uh, it was uh, issues of uh, 50 to around 142, but fill with some yeah. fill-ins here and there. Um, the reason why I like him so much is because he co-created uh, Kyle Rainier, who quickly became one of my favorite Green Lanterns. Yeah, Hal Jordan was the man without fear. He's still the greatest Green Lantern, but Kyle Rainier was the everyman. Mm -hmm. He was me, he was you, he was Richard. Mm -hmm. If we'd have been there, you know, if we'd have been in that scene, in that situation... He was an everyman, and I loved his run on with Kyle Rainey, and I still love it. Uh, he helped design the costumes for uh, Parallax, who anybody who reads Green Lantern or, you know, like the last couple of crises mm -hmm. knows who Parallax is. And uh, so um, Daryl Branks. Like I said, and there's so much, there's so much more, and I'm just going to go through the, the ten reasons why I'm going, even though I, there's plenty others that we can't even get all into this uh, episode. Oh, the one so. we have to mention... Snoochie Booches, buddy. Uh, Jason Muse is going to be at the com. Seriously, Jay is going to be at the con. You know, Do you need Clark's any Mall. other reason? Lou Ferrigno, the original Hawk, is going to be at the con. Billy Tan, hey, you, we, you know we know you, so hey, we want to see you again, oh, man. man. Yeah, you really oh, yeah. uh, love you, Billy Tan. Uh, X Men, um, uh, he did X Men Excalibur, Alan, Captain Britain, Alan Davis. Alan Davis. Uh, he's going to be there, and uh, Chris, uh, you go for the last name. Gia Russo. Uh, Marvel's bullpen bits. Uh, there are these funny shorts you do that's in the those. vein of a, a peanut what? gang. Like, Ma like Mad Magazine's mm. cracked mm. versions of the Peanuts characters, but with Marvel characters. And like you said, Daryl Banks and one of our favorites, uh, our fan favorite. He's been with us, communicating with us for the last you know five or six years. Sean Forney is going to be there as well. And uh, look... You need to go to this convention because we're going to be there as well. So shout out, uh, hi. Yeah. You want to say hi to your family or whatever? It's going to be on viral. It's going to be on video, our show and whatnot. And that's all I really can say. You need to be there. You need to go experience this. This is an experience. Comic fans unite. The geeks shall inherit the earth. And Comic Con will be ground zero.